you know, all praises to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This has to be said. Gentiles. You know, we are not... We, we are in a time period of getting understanding. Gaining understanding. We're in a time period to grow. We've gone through all these different time periods and unfortunately we had to go through them with you or rather under Gentile understanding but that was stated or written to happen because we were a people destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So it only makes sense that as we grow in a time of growth and self-reflection that we do so with understanding because we were the original people with full understanding and our demise was that we had none but now we have more we have some which is more than Gentile understanding which then makes Gentile understanding obsolete Absolutely. It, it was a point in time where, you know, Gentiles, well, I don't understand. And, and since I don't understand, it's got to be this way. And I and, and, and listen, I, and I'll pay you to do it my way. This, this, and but now, now because we are being spirited away to an, uh, to a growth of awakening uh, consciousness, now we're saying, well, okay, we want to do the right thing. We want to get paid for it. We just want to do the right thing. We, we're tired of living a, um, a secret combination, secret agenda, um, demented, reprobate, uh, uh, you know, life. We're tired of that. At some point, at some point, you know, things have to change. And, and, you know, if things were righteous and good, then there would be no reason to change. And yeah, I know it's better than it has been, but it still isn't good enough. Gentiles, we don't have to entertain your thoughts. We don't have to matriculate to your levels anymore. It's time for you all to grow up. There's no, well, I don't understand. Well, then, you know, you're either blind, unable to understand, choose not to. You know, that, that, that's it. Because in anything, you should gain understanding. In anything, even if you don't like it, you should be able to understand it so that you can even make a decision or, or, or a, a judgment on whether or not you like it or want to be bothered with it or not. And I understand your system has set everyone up to say one way or the other. It's one way. It's either you're a Republican or Democrat. You're either right or wrong. And a lot of times the right was considered wrong and the wrong was considered right. And that's because of the confusion of lack of understanding. Why? Because if the people who had full understanding was desecrated by fools who had no understanding, and then those fools came above those that had all understanding because the ones that had all understanding lost most understanding. Most all. And you had an opportunity to manipulate, lie, cheat, and steal, and murder. Gentiles and and we're not being again we're not being mean about this this is just the facts of the matter this is your history whether you like it or not I mean come on don't be mad at us for, for, for telling the truth about what you've done how you are how you act this pompous sanctimonious oh I'm whole I, I am I have the authority of everything and anything now see that's that's pride because in fact your understanding and authority of all and everything is lax 
There's no common sense in it. Otherwise, your your world would not be in dire straits. Yeah, your world. I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not capable of controlling and having power and 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 running your world. This is your world, Gentiles. We've had to assimilate within your world. Remember integration, assimilation? Remember integration? So miss me with all the, you know, we, we you know, not everybody's racist or we need the history's wrong or wokeism or, or B, uh, L, uh, B, uh, W, uh, white lives matter, blue lives. Miss me with all of the counter agendas to the truth. Miss me with it. Because at the end of the day, all anybody is saying and doing is treating people right. And, and, and the funny and the irony is, is that this is a, a characteristics characteristic that you've never done. Never done. You never treated anybody right. You're not really seeking the father. If, if at all. You, 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 you're not doing what you have been contracted to do based on what you who you say you are um, being led by and the words that he said. You're out, you're in breach of contract, Gentile Christian. So miss me with all of your banter. There's, you don't have a leg to stand on. We're over it. The reality is is that at this moment in truth. This moment of time, we are doing this for ourselves. This is an individual walk. This is not a collective walk now. That collective walk was the Gentile way of saying, hey, you got to do it my way. That's your Christianity. It's always been a re personal relationship. It's always been people teaching the parent, teaching the child how to have a personal relationship with the father doing it by the way that Yahawashai brought it and did it oh but we don't know we don't, we don't talk about what he did in his youth you hide that so that the kids are confused and, and, and are in disarray all these things Gentiles you guys did not us we haven't done a single thing other than do what you all have done how you all have done it in a manner as such. And so this isn't about us at the end of the day. <clears throat> I mean, ultimately it is, but nevertheless, it is not all about us, even though we fix it, we sort it out, we bring the light, we bring the balance, but you have to do something. You can't continue to talk the rig and rolls of I am saved or or I have salvation through Jesus Christ or, or, or I believe in this and I believe in that without doing something. Without doing something. And that's what I'm talking about. This whole thing of you ain't got to do nothing to gain salvation is retarded. It is not a proper thought process in anything even in your world well shoot you know I mean not even I mean today except for today where you can say you're a woman when you're a man you know that's it that's the only thing and that's straight confusion so even in your in your world I can't say you know what I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a college grad when I just graduated middle school I have to do something to be a college grad uh, you know, I'm driving a car, um, but I'm sitting there on my couch. I have to get up and do something to drive a car. I have to do something to think. I have to do something to have relationships. I have to do something, even in life, in birth, doing something. This misconceptualization of you guys got the whole story in your hands. Nah, you don't. You're missing vital statistics and reasoning. You're missing it. And because you're missing it, 
you want everybody else to miss it. And now we're saying, nah, we're not missing it no more. We're done. We're done missing this because it's right here. You know, better yet, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to gather this. I'm I'm going to take hold of this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm I'm, I'm, going to take hold of this because this is exactly what I have been missing. But you guys want us to believe crazily right crazily that i don't need to worry about what i'm missing all i need to do all i need to do is continue to miss it continue to miss what the truth is and that today mind you is not working we the people we the people are done, are done with y'all's ideologue, y'all's idealism, y'all's ways. We don't have to be dealing with that. That's the craziest part about all of this. For some reason, you guys think that we have to be part of it. Why? Why can't we? Oh, that's right. Shoot. We did. We, we, we tried this before with you all and you guys bombed us and you know, destroyed our people and, you know, did all types of wickedry to us because you guys didn't want us to understand. So, yeah, I get it. I get it now. You guys got issues with truth. And see, that is not our problem. That is a personal problem as well as a collective problem of the Gentiles. So, you know, for us, we, we're not interested in, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not interested in hearing about your issues. We're not interested in learning about your ways. What we're interested in today, and this is for all of everybody, what we're interested in today is seeking the Father and treating people the way we want to be treated. That's it. That's the, that's the whole kit and kaboom. That's it. That's all we're interested in. Because we understand the energies, the karmatic energies that's upon this earth now. We understand and can see the natural law ushering itself in. We can, we can see, we can even see plainly the historical inaccuracies and lies and trickery. We can see these things. We can see it. And we're not going to be able to unsee it. And in order for us to unsee it, we would have to lower our level from where we are to from the comforts and the peace of mind of where we are to a base level. A base level of understanding or or non or or base level of misunderstanding. And see, at this stage in the game, you know, all of the particulars of the way that this system used to run was all set up on our energies, our frequencies. And now that we have changed, now that the now that the father has changed the frequency up, you know, changed it from 5G to 9 to, to he changed it from 5G to you on you to 9G on you. Numbers mean a lot to 9G on you. And he's put us at a higher frequency uh, uh, to to tune that out, to offset that frequency of 9G that he's got on you so that now we can hear his call. We can have that conversation now. Now the lines are open for us. It's open, Gentile. It's open for us. It's open for us. And you guys, for some reason, still think that your opinions, your thoughts, for some degree and to some degree your prayers and on the totality of things 
your world matters. See, this whole thing is about us manifesting the Father's kingdom to come because the kingdom come is in us. So in order for the kingdom to come, we first have to manifest it. Just like you all didn't do, but did to certain to a certain degree. You guys uh, actually, in, in truth, in fact, you guys just, you know, used our infrastructure and, and you know, built over ours and used ours and hid ours and used it for your own gain, your own filthy lucre for 30 pieces of silver. And, you know, here we are just trying to catch up, just trying to maintain throughout our curses and, and you know, not be de utterly destroyed. But you guys saw, too, that many of us were utterly destroyed. And, and utterly means uh, sinews and bones alike. A lot of times y'all destroyed us through acid, you flattened us, you skinned us. And I know this history and we know it and we feel it and we sense it and there's no getting away from it, Gentiles. And, and the best course of action for you all is to repent, repent. Yeah, repent for what your forefathers have done. Repent for that. I mean, we're not going to repent for what your forefathers has done. We're not going to do that. You got to repent for what your forefathers have done. You've got to be the ones that sit back and go, you know what? That was some ruthless, backward, degenerate, really bad stuff that they did. That the that that, that my family members, that some of my some of my family members did. It really was. And you know. We we need we need to uh, we need to apologize to these people for this because this was some this was some um, this was some tough stuff that they endured. I know we never would have been able to endure that. You know, that's what you guys should say. Whether and whether your 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 people your your family was involved in it or not, you could still say you know, man, I I, I, I repent for what these people have done to these other people because what was done was just a terrible thing. It was terrible. I mean, terrible thing. And, and it was, it was a terrible thing. And I, I, I only pray that that would be, uh, fixed that justice will come because that's injustice. It's not right. So, you know, you guys got to step up your own game. Don't don't come to us telling us that what we're not doing, what we what we can't do, what we can't see, what we don't know. You know, worry about yourselves at this point. Figure out how you're going to sustain your own iniquity. How you're going to change and manifest righteousness within your own self. How you're going to seek the Father with all your mind, body, heart and and spirit. And treat the, your brother and sister, not your brother and sister, not your nucleus family, but people the way you want to be treated. So, before, so until you all do that consistently, collectively, well, then there's no reason for anyone who is trying to do that to be entertained by you. And you guys have no reason to be mad at those of us that don't want to do that. You really don't. This is not a this is not a uh, a contest. We're just trying to do what we know the right thing is. You guys need to do what you do uh, or believe as the right thing. Because Israel is waking up and a lot of the few have waken up, have woken up. And they're seeing things and saying things that it would behoove you to, to take heed to. I mean, you, you say that you following a guy who was an Israelite or is an Israelite. And you say you love him, but you're not showing any actions as such. Of such. So time is of the essence. The pendulum is moving quickly. 
soon to stand still. And when it stands still, this time, unforcibly standing still, but by balance of natural means only, an exchange of situation will have already occurred. And you would have missed it, and you would have had no one to blame but yourselves. And c'est la vie. All praises to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, my father. Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, all praises and for protection to the nation of Israel throughout this awakening. And all those that cleave, all those that want to be part of, we send energy of connection to you. Shalom.